Hi everyone, just a quick video on micrometers, or micrometers as some people call them. Uh, what they are, what they do, and, and how to measure with one. So, what are they first of all? So they're a measuring uh, device uh, that will measure down to two decimal places. Uh, and it only does uh, external thickness of a component. So, what you would do is you put your item that you want to test in here. For a mechanic it might be a brake disc or a brake pad, something like that. Uh, and then you clamp it together and it'll measure the outside thickness. So if you've got a component that wears down and gets thinner over time, this is the tool that you might use to test it, uh, test for its thickness. Uh, first couple of things to mention, different micrometers, micrometers have different uh, gauges. So this one is a zero to 25 millimeter one, whereas this one here is 25 to 50 millimeters. So bear in mind, if you're gonna purchase one, the thickness of the materials you're most likely to be measuring and make sure you buy the appropriate one for you. So. Uh, how do you measure with it when first of all i'm going to get myself a component i'm going to put this into here so what i've got is a, a magnet here just so i don't have to hold it and all i'm going to do is um close this up here don't clamp it too tight just clamp it so it's firm but you don't want to over tighten it um so here we go so now that's Again, just nip it, not too tight. You don't want to damage uh, the micrometer. So I've, I've clamped this here on there, and now I'm gonna have a look at this. So if you look at the, the top scale here is in millimeters, and you can see they're dashed all the way along. And then the bottom uh, line here represents 0.5s. And then what you've got here on the, uh, the thimble here is measurements right round from zero here, right round to 49, and then back to zero again. So there's 50 here as well. So when you're measuring, you've got your whole millimetres, which are self-explanatory, and then the 0.5s there. So if your 0.5 is visible after the whole number, then this will represent 51 to 99. If the whole number is the last thing you see, then this will represent 0 to 49. And then obviously your 50 starts here again. So let's just clamp uh, measure this one. So we've got 15 plus one, two, and I can just about see the whole number. So in this case, 18. And then on this sleeve here, I've got zero right round to 10, 15, 16. So the thickness of this little magnet I've got here is 18 point one six. So I've got 18 in the whole numbers, and then I've got 16 or 0.16 of a millimetre on this collar here. If I saw a, a dash after the whole number, then it would automatically become a five, and then I'd be adding 16 to that. So if it was half a millimetre wider, it'd automatically become 18.66. But because the whole number, the last thing I can see here, that makes it this, not 49, not 51 to 99. Okay. So the components of it, and that's simple as that. So the components of it on the micrometer, what we've got here, we've got the ratchet. We've got the thimble. Got the uh, sleeve here. The body. Sometimes called a C frame. Obviously because of its shape. Got the lock nut, this little section here. And then the most important two bits, we've got the uh, spindle. And the other section here that clamps against is the anvil. And then sometimes you may get a zero adjuster on the end here, it doesn't on this particular one. Should it ever go out of, out of scale. So yeah, what's the micrometer then? So it'll go to two decimal places. It'll measure the external thickness of a component. And the way to measure it is the whole numbers, the uh, zero or 0.5s, and this represents the half millimetre, um, either not 49 or 50 to 99. Hope that makes sense. See you in the next one.